Hi YouTubers, this is another video from your friendly neighborhood reviewer Evelyn. Today we're going to be reviewing a new K-drama series that's come out on Netflix called Strong Girl Namsoon. Well, we know there was a predecessor show called Strong Girl Bongsu. So the gist of it is that both series are related, so different branch of the family. Now, I knew about the other series, but I was in between seeing this. But seeing the clips on Instagram made me intrigued. So the premise of the story is Nang Sun, she's born to her parent of Huang Gunju. Now the mum is super strong and the mum's mum, the grandma of Gil Jungan. All of the women in this family are born with incredible powers of strength, super speed, super supervision. Now the plot of the story is that when, when Nang Sun was in going to Mongolia with her dad, who's a pho photographer, her. We don't know how she gets lost but she gets separated from her dad and she's on a horse crying for her dad and a Mongolian couple that are herding sheep or whatever they do in Mongolia, I don't know if it's like a correct, a, a correct representation of what people do in Mongolia but take it for it is, they find a little girl and they look after her. As the years pass she grows up to be big and strong and wondering about her origins because we have the funny scenes of her carrying two sheep in two hands, putting it back there a riding horse and then until she finally asks her parents where the heck she came from and the parents come with what they found her a magic wand from car captors <laughs> which is uh, not hilarious but apparently made out of real gold and a jumper that she was wearing at the time when she went missing at five and on the ticket it says you know made in Korea so that's her first inclination that she has to go to Korea so she spends 10 years learning Korean to go and find her mom and her dad in the midst of that her mom, or Kwang Gyunju, she's incredibly rich. I've seen up to now episode 5, the amount of wealth that they explain that this woman has, it's I guess more than three countries combined that she's able to buy her way into anything and apparently that she has the Midas touch that anything that she did turn into gold like success. So they, we did have a recap of the how did the mom and the dad meet that apparently the dad started off as the accountant for the mom but they fell in love with some weird love story and she saw him as a perfect match to procreate his children and on the top of that <laughs> the good thing about this series is how the role reversal typically the guy gives you know gives everything to the woman x y and stuff but in this case the mom of of namsoon she tells her now husband look after the kids uh if you if you want to pursue your passion of photography by all means do that just look after our kids because namsoon wasn't just her born she had she has a twin of like a male twin or like younger brother whatever you want to call it but the running comedy is that the men in the family are all weak fragile and the brother they make it look like that since namsoon has been missing for x amount of time he was binge eating his uh, feelings away so there's a lot of comedy within this show because the mom very desperate to to find her daughter she buys a newspaper placed but constantly advertising about where is my daughter and on top of that she gets advised by her by her assistant this actor i've seen him in other shows typically the role of the sniveling assistant or the subservient or you get what i mean just like the weak the side character little henchman he goes and suggests to the mom why don't you hold a tournament to find the strongest girls because they know that the women have super strength the other bit they kind of said is okay when you find a girl can you just do a dna test to see but apparently they explained that since the women all have the super strength their chromosomes their dna is really weird so it's impossible to do a dna test so to get the the part of the story from episode one to four Nam soon arrives to Korea very naive the best example I can give of Gang Nam soon think Goku from Dragon Ball Z to anybody that likes anime the way the uh, American dub version had it that Goku was incredible strength but always nice humble innocent in quotes and Nam soon has that type of personality she knows how strong she is but she it's kind of like all the women that have this particular powers inbred into them to only do good so when she gets there she first the plane that she's coming to korea with has a malfunction and one of the engines blows out so we get a cool scene that she jumps she kicks the plane door open as it's touching into the korean airport and saves everybody with her massive strength and that's when she uses her 
classic strength. She goes and alerts her mom and her grandma about that because apparently that if all three women are in the same proximity and they exert themselves, they can feel it. Because now I'm going to jump a little bit because in the strength contest, there's this young girl that cheats her way into becoming strong, like cheats her way of holding like 60 kilos in or maybe 80 kilos holding it in both arms because that was the test and initially the mom was like this is my daughter this is my daughter but the dad ha had the feeling saying no that's not her that's not her we later she the mom later finds out that the girl that she thought was her daughter wasn't that she's playing a con as a con, con artist when there's a little interaction that the fake daughter sees now to an action that's when the fake daughter runs off and steals all these watches and stuff from the house now the love interest here for Namsoon is a police officer working in a drugs case that apparently there's drugs going around and he meets Namsoon first at the airport in which they're searching for drugs because apparently they had a tip off that somebody from Mongolia was gonna come to Korea to go and drop off some drugs really potent drugs the, most, the way they describe this new type of drug uh, they they mention it a thousand times more po potent than fentanyl even heroin or like <laughs> That's not possible then like one grain of this drug could go and kill somebody so the uh, anyways a comedy everything's exaggerated now the bad guy in this picture is Ryu Shio now this guy I think he was in some other K drama in Netflix or Beyond One Sock now this guy has incredible cheekbones <laughs> if you don't mind me saying he's the bad guy of the series and and we also see that he also has superpowers how he got the superpowers we don't know what's his end goal that like, he wants to be super rich he he's drug dealing he's they're helping import this import this really potent drug so that's the main bad guy that Namsoon and now her mom and her grandma will have to fight against so to cut the long story short the police detective of Kang Hee Shik helps Namsoon to find her mom because he goes and sees how honest she is and he feels something deep within himself that he wants to help this girl find her long lost parents so he's very instrumental so when everything gets clued in together he calls the mom saying I have your daughter and she's there going crying her eyes like, like where is she and he's like and there's one part which I thought a little bit off-putting he says oh Oh, she's with me but I'll call you tomorrow <laughs> leave her to rest like what you'd think in that same night the mom was swooping to see her daughter but by the end of episode 3 Namsuna is going to meet her mom on the way but a fire breaks out and I think in a kindergarten primary school nursery god knows what it was fire breaks out and on the way to meet her mom Namsuna, Namsuna's hero instincts kick in and she leaps from the ground to the fourth floor she's saving the children leaping down carrying the children going up and her mom is on the way with the limousine well oh i think it was a limousine no no way yeah well let's put it as a limousine and there's a load of traffic so the mom comes out from the limo and she starts pushing all the cars away with her hands and obviously freaking everybody out and she goes to the place and she sees her daughter elite from the floor and starts saving kids and then the other show you see the mom strike she grabs i think this like fence that was stuck to the ground and moves it and climbs all the way up to where Namsoon is and they have by episode 4 that tearful reunion that she meets everybody especially her dad that she comes to realize and she gets like a makeover I kind of liked her with long hair but they gave her a short a bob and we can see that she's trying to find her roots what's her purpose here and she ends up and her mom's like oh i'm so great i'm so happy that you care like what do you want to do next and the girl announcer is like well the only goal i had here was to meet you and my dad and then now what and then the mom asks a very important question what makes you happy now despite how like so much of the comedy the comedy from the episodes that to me is a very deep question that to me is a question like a question every parent should ask their child what makes you happy and Namsoon instantly says helping people I want to find somebody to help and which comes in Hanshik she ends up helping him to take down the like to investigate about the drugs and we can see that the relationship developing and can oh and the poor detective having to see the immassive strength that Namsoon 
still has and he's trying to keep up of course in our he's trying to keep up as you know the male lead the protecting and stuff but uh now i'm soon she's like don't worry <laughs> that funny thing like each time he wants to be gallant and say let me walk you home she's like no don't worry i'm fine just go go i'll see you later don't worry and the other bit i love i love from nansu very the character very sincere i love sincere characters so that's the bit from the first half i explained it up to the point tonight i'm gonna see episode six and i can't wait to know what happens next and i can't wait for the main bad guy of ryu shio when he gets angry using more his powers because the actor <laughs> what a courage what a charisma to be walking around smoldering that look of i'm the most attractive bad guy here and i'm here to go and well i don't know what's his end game with the drugs because because uh, the drug itself it's like i don't know it's you might as well just go and kill oh well, i don't know what to say about that drug but just a ridiculous uh, description of how this drug is but well, anyway, we're at the end. A big thank you to anybody that's reached the end. Leave your comments down below what you think about the show to any K-drama fans. And to any new viewers, I really appreciate it. we can hit the subscribe button. As I leave you always, stay safe, 